Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about troponin test. What is this troponin? What is the clinical use of this troponin test? In which conditions this test is going to be conducted? What are the normal values? And what is significance of this test? We will discuss in this video. This troponin test is one of the cardiobiomarker test in order to indicate any cardiac damage. Sometimes cardiac injury may lead to cardiac damage, which may lead to few of the conditions like myocardial infarction. And this injury can also produce some pain in the heart, resulting in unstable angina, which produce severe pain with deteriorating conditions. And these cardiovascular disorders may finally lead to heart attack in the patients. So all these cardiovascular complications because of any cardiac damage, which produce cardiac ischemia, are collectively known as acute coronary syndrome. So troponin acts as a significant biomarker in order to detect acute coronary syndrome in the patients. We have few of the other laboratory tests which acts as again cardiac biomarkers. For instance, CKMB, creatine kinase specific to the cardiac cells. Similarly, myoglobin. These laboratory tests can also indicate cardiac damage but they are not that much specific compared with the troponin. Myoglobin levels are elevated both in the cardiac damage as well as skeletal damage, but the troponin levels are specifically elevated in cardiac damage. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about this troponin test and what is the role of this troponin in the cardiac cells and in which conditions this test is going to be done and what are the normal values of this troponin. What is troponin? Just we have seen that troponin acts as a cardiac biomarker and in case of any cardiac damage, troponin levels are elevated within the blood. So this troponin is one of the important component in the cardiac muscle and it belongs to the family of calcium regulatory proteins. So this troponin is present in the cardiac muscle as well as skeletal muscle, but it is not present in the smooth muscle. So within the cardiac muscle as well as skeletal muscle, this troponin forms a complex with calcium. Therefore, it is responsible for contraction of the muscle. But troponin is available in the three forms. So one form of the troponin is responsible for binding with calcium, but other two forms are responsible for binding to actin as well as tropomyosin. Now just we have seen that troponin is available in the three forms. It is available as troponin C troponin I as well as troponin T. This troponin C is mainly responsible for binding of calcium which initiates the contraction in the cardiac as well as skeletal muscle. Troponin I is present in the cardiac as well as skeletal muscle which binds to actin and troponin T is present as it binds to tropomycin. So these three forms of the troponin form a complex. This is called as troponin complex. Then what is the cardiac specificity of these troponin molecules? We have seen that troponin is present both in the cardiac as well as skeletal muscle and it is available as three forms. So troponin C is present in the cardiac muscle as well as skeletal muscle. We cannot find any significant difference between cardiac as well as skeletal troponin C. Both are looking similar except in one point this cardiac troponin C binds to the three calcium molecules, whereas skeletal troponin C binds to the four calcium molecules. So except with binding to the calcium, cardiac troponin C is almost similar to skeletal troponin C. So troponin C is not a good biomarker for cardiac specificity. Then we have other two forms like troponin I as well as troponin T. These two cardiac troponins are different from the skeletal muscle, so they are specific to the cardiac muscle. So these troponins are called as cardiac specific. They are indicated as CTNI, cardiac troponin I as well as CTNT, cardiac troponin T. These two are specific cardiac biomarkers and when they are elevated in the blood, they indicate a possible cardiac damage. Similarly, we can observe this difference between skeletal muscle damage and cardiac muscle damage. In case of skeletal muscle damage, there will be an elevated levels of CK creatine kinase 
and elevated levels of myoglobin. But in case of cardiac damage, again the creatine kinase levels are increased. But here, a specific form CKMB levels are increased in the case of cardiac damage. And again, myoglobin levels are increased. But the troponin levels are elevated in case of cardiac damage, which are not elevated in case of skeletal muscle damage. Because this troponin is cardiac specific. So by detecting the cardiac specific troponin levels, we can easily estimate the cardiac damage without any interference with skeletal troponin molecules. Now let us see what is the role of this troponin. So within the cardiac muscle, the myosin fibers are present, which are flanked with actin filaments. So this is the actin filament and this is tropomyosin. Now within this actin filaments, troponin is present, the T form, and it is attached with the troponin I, which is binding to the actin. And finally, they are attached with troponin C, which is responsible for binding with the calcium. In this way, troponin complex is present within the cardiac muscle fibers. Now when this calcium enters into the cardiac cells, it can initiate the contraction. Calcium can form a complex with the troponin C, so three molecules are going to bind to troponin C, which then produce a conformational change in the tropomyosin, resulting in exposure of binding sites. These are nothing but myosin binding sites. Now to this myosin binding sites, the myosin filaments can be attached such that they produce some contraction in the cardiac muscle. In this way, troponin plays an important role in the cardiac muscle contraction. Now this is the actin as well as myosin filaments which are equipped with troponin complex. But when there is a cardiac damage, this cardiac damage results in the decreased oxygen supply leading to cell death which may produce ischemia and further cardiac damage. So during the cardiac damage the muscle is going to be lost and some of the troponin is available as a free form within the cytoplasm and they can be transported into the blood along with the troponin complex. So within the blood, the troponin levels are elevated, which indicates a probable cardiac damage. So that's why by estimation of these troponin levels within the blood, we can easily assess the cardiac damage in the patients. Normally the troponin levels within the blood are very, very low, but only the cardiac damage they are elevated, which can be easily detected. When troponin levels are elevated, Troponin is elevated in case of acute coronary syndrome. So if a patient is having any symptoms such as squeezing chest pain, which indicates some unstable angina and dyspnea, difficulty in breathing, dizziness, some lightheadedness is observed, abnormal sweating, some sudden sweating is observed in the patients, nausea and vomiting and severe weakness, unable to do normal activities and pain propagating to arms, neck and jaw which indicates anginal attack and rapid heartbeats which may indicate atrial fibrillation. All these conditions may suggest acute coronary syndrome in the patients. In such situations, the troponin level should be checked in order to assess any cardiac damage in the patients. But sometimes the troponin levels are also elevated in other conditions like ischemia produced by any other disorders. Particularly, any lung disorders may lead to cardiac ischemia. For instance, pulmonary embolism may also lead to elevated troponin levels or COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder may also lead to elevated troponin levels. But whenever these troponin levels are elevated, the cardiac damage is indicated. What are the normal values? In order to estimate troponin levels, a high sensitivity troponin test is going to be done which is having the low detection values. The limit of lower detection is less than 0 0.005 nanogram per ml. So which indicates the high sensitivity of this immunoassay method. So with this high sensitivity troponin test, the normal value is less than 0 0.04 nanogram per ml. But when these troponin levels are elevated above this 0 0.04 nanogram per ml, it may indicate some cardiac damage. So in case of cardiac damage, the levels may be elevated from 0.04 to 0.39 nanogram per ml. And in the high risk patients, the troponin levels may be 
elevated greater than 0 0.40 nanogram per ml. Even it is a rare condition, this indicates very high risk in the patients with high cardiac damage. So that's about this troponin test. Troponin acts as a cardiac biomarker in order to indicate cardiac damage. And this is specific to the cardiac muscle because the cardiac troponin I as well as cardiac troponin T are different from skeletal troponin I as well as T. So when their levels are elevated, it indicates a cardiac damage, which may be due to any acute coronary syndrome. In the patients who are having squeezing chest pain, severe weakness, sudden sweating, rapid heartbeats, nausea and vomiting, anginal attacks where the pain is propagating to arms, neck as well as jaw. In all these conditions, there may be damage to the cardiac muscle resulting in the elevation of troponin levels. Similarly, other conditions like myocarditis, cardiac inflammation or respiratory disorders like chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, pulmonary embolism or renal disorder. In all these conditions, troponin levels are elevated, which indicates a probable cardiac damage. And this troponin is present in the three forms, troponin T, C as well as I. The troponin T is responsible for binding to the tropomyosin. Troponin C is responsible for binding to calcium and troponin I binds to actin in the filaments. When the calcium binds to this troponin C, it produces a conformational change where the myosin binding sites are going to be exposed and myosin filaments can bind with this actin thereby slide on each other to produce contraction of the cardiac muscle. But in case of cardiac damage, this troponin complex is present as a free form within the cytoplasm and it can be transported into the systemic circulation where the troponin levels within the blood are going to be elevated. So the elevated levels of troponin indicates a cardiac damage and a probable acute coronary syndrome. These troponin levels can be estimated by high sensitivity immunoassay where the lower detection level is as low as 0 0.005 nanogram per ml. The normal value of this troponin is less than 0 0.04 nanogram per ml but when it is in between 0 0.04 to 0 0.39 nanogram per ml it indicates a cardiac damage and acute coronary syndrome and very rarely it can be elevated greater than 0 0.40 nanogram per ml which indicates a high risk in the patients. So that's about this troponin test. In our next video, we will come with another important clinical test. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.